Well, how do there, Chums Design, Captain of the Seas, and today, Chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm hoping to play No Man's Sky on my PC. Now, because it's on PC and I'm starting a fresh save, and I've done countless saves, I've decided to hit up modded gameplay. So I've installed a load of mods, so we're going to be hitting this up, and trust me, it's going to look very different. Okay, so here we go, let's go into PC Gaming. You see here, I've got a warning on my screen right now that I'm playing with modded play. So let's go and hit on through. Let's go to a play game. Hopefully my joypad will work in a moment. There we go. Now, I'm thinking about hitting up creative mode, but then swapping it to relax mode once I get in. That way I can sort of jump past all the parts of getting my ship. It's a little bit of a, a shortcut, a bit of a hack. So we'll try that. And also I need to check my actual game settings because I don't want to be losing loads of frame rates for you guys inside of the viewerverse. Right, so as it's coming in, you can see the actual pack that I've installed. It's called Biome Bonanza. And to get it to work, you have to layer a couple of mods on top of each other. When you go to install that Biome Bonanza, it will tell you what mods you need to use inside of the actual viewerverse. Now, I followed um, a guide by Zoo Gaming. And uh, yeah, really good, really good guide. I put a link in the top corner there. Go hit that up. And um, the actual mods in question, I actually saw Professor Cynical running with these running the other day. And man, they look amazing. So I can't wait to jump on in and see what the actual planet is like. <laughs> I mean, it's taken a while to load. And that, that's the thing. It's probably going to take a lot longer than normal to load in because of... How big these mods are and i might have to play with my graphical setting people in the view of us but anyhow um <laughs> it's like christmas yeah so anyway um modded gameplay should get you closer to the super formula sort of vibe that we thought no man would sky would have at launch now if you're on other platforms on console thinking well i can't install mods but you say that but <sighs> Hello Games, they're kind of moving in that direction. With this whole Waypoint update and giving us the ability to toggle modes, it does make me wonder whether they might be toying with bringing something like this to consoles at some point. Okay, well that's moving quite smoothly for me at the moment on my screen, so I can play that quite well. How is it for actual streaming? I think we're okay on streaming as well. I think we lost a couple of frames there, didn't we? So I might have to tweak the graphical settings just a little bit. So if I go into here, go into graphic options. Now I've got them all on high at the moment. Okay, so animation quality, I would still like that. Shadow, I would post processing. I put that in enhanced. Reflections, I kind of like that on high. Volumetric effects, I'm not too bothered about those. They can just be standard, I guess. Terrain tessellation, I put that on enhanced. Planet quality kind of like that on high though base complexity i'm not who not going to be looking for bases so i put that on low shall i gat gate i don't know what this is i don't know what these things do put that on standard then anti-alien dls i know that that does a lot for you doesn't it i put that back on oh there you go fidelity fx super resolution i go for that and we go for ultra performance. So I want it as performance mode. Okay, so here we go. Let's give that a go then. Let's hit apply. It's probably going to say that I need to restart, isn't it? Oh no, I think we're good. I think that's just, I think that might have fixed things. Okay, that's going fairly smooth for me as I'm playing. And looking at the actual stream over there. Are you, am I keeping up? Is it keeping up? Let's um, do a bit of testing. See if we lose any sort of... That looks like it's running fairly smooth-ish. I'm losing a couple of frames, but you know, this is pushing planets to the, the big, oh, I mean, look at the, look how crazy this is. Holy fudge. Okay, so if we are losing a couple of frames, this will probably be why. And it's lucky that I decided to put this into creative mode because trying to find my ship on this planet could have been bloody fun, couldn't it? what the actual fudge people this is insane but this is this is alien this is as alien as it gets isn't it okay and it, it's still sort of spluttering a little isn't it on my stream i think okay let's jump in and out of the ship make a save and let's just have a little more let's have a little bit of a play with the settings a bit more let's see if i can get this to what's a video option like borderless oh that's all fine that's all good yeah 
Okay. Uh, depth of field. I quite like it zoomed out like it is at the moment, to be honest. Go back into graphics options. And let's put let's just put it all on enhanced then. Let's see how we get on on enhanced. Okay. Enhanced, enhanced, and put that in. Enhanced, enhanced. There we are. Uh, no, that enhanced. I'll put that low. Okay. All right. Hopefully that's going to make it even better. Let's hit that and apply. Restart required to take effect. Okay. All right. Fine. Well, let's um quit out to desktop then. And we'll relaunch and we'll see if that's okay. I have created a save like 48 seconds ago. And I haven't done anything really. Now let's fire back on up the game, people. And why I'm doing that, rather than look at that screen, let's just bring me up there. Gaming. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's do that one more time then, people. You of us, shall we? I might as well just stay on this screen for a bit until the actual game launches. It's going to take me a little while to get back in again. But fingers crossed, I can get this running smooth for you and smooth for the stream. I mean, if I'm not using Streamlabs, I can have all those settings maxed out. That's the really annoying thing. It was running really smooth for me earlier when I was playing. It's only because I'm doing Streamlabs at the same time that I've got to play with this a bit. Just turn the PC audio down just a fraction. Getting into the game. Okay, here we go. Configuration loaded. Cool. Play game. Let's hit up that save that I was on. What a cool planet that was, though, eh? Just jump back into game. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Any second now, it should load in. Hoping. I mean, does it still. Oh, probably will still do Starfield -y stuff. Yes, it is. You know what? Back to me. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. Okay, we'll give that a sec. We'll get, I'll let you know when it's back on the actual planet, and hopefully it's running as smooth as freaking butter. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Can but hope. Fingers crossed. So this will probably be episode zero zero, and then actually getting in, taking off, and going to the next planet. I do as episode one. This is just trying to get the settings right, people in the viewerverse, and trying to get it nice and tidy for you guys. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking about doing these as pre-recorded episodes. I'm just bringing them to my channel until the No Man's Sky update lands for other platforms and hopefully be jumping back in on my PlayStation 5 save. But this is just to add a little bit of interest and to try and get my PC save up to a decent point. Well, and also to keep me interested in playing my PC save. Because as you can see, I don't really have a PC save. I mean, I did have one just for doing some beta testing inside of the um, experimental branch, which I guess you can't do when you've got mods on. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, this has taken freaking lifetime to load on in. The lesson learned there. I have to do something about, well, I can't do anything about the speed of it loading. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, bring it up on the screen. You can see what I'm seeing right now. We've got the star filled up. So hopefully it will be loading in and hopefully it's not going to crash. And hopefully everything's going to be smoother this time, people. Because I think I've lowered the quality to the point where I'd be happy with streaming it. But we'll see. I mean, all the reflections are off. The ray tracing probably isn't going to be as great. Um, but hopefully the fidelity and the upscaling and the high performance mode, I'm hoping is going to give me some decent frames. I mean, you can see me inside of that camera right now. It It is still struggling, isn't it? But we are loading in right now. This is probably about as high intensity as it's going to get as it's loading in. And here we go. Okay. I've got a little loading bar at the bottom of the screen, though. It doesn't... Hold on, I lowered the setting. This should be running super awesomely awesome right now. Um, oh, well, there we go. I just had to click on the bloody screen. All right, cool. Awesome. Well, let's change the game mode. Options. Go into difficulty settings. And we'll put that up to a relaxed mode now, people. That means I've now got all of the portal glyphs. My ship is ready to take on off, or should be. Can we just fly to a neighbouring planet and we'll see we'll see if we'll see if it's running smooth enough for me to be able to stream this, to be happy with it. Because this is not vanilla no man's sky. This is pushing my PC probably to its top end of what it's capable of doing, you know? Inside of no man's sky, I should say. Right, so we got that there. Not overly yeah, that's one planet. Is there any other planets in this system? Yeah, let's go to the ringed planet. This is an abandoned planet. Okay, what about this one then? Good. 
Well, let's have a look at an abandoned planet, shall we? Budget. Let's go there. I don't want to reveal too many planets in episode 00, because, of course, we're going to be pressing on. I need to get myself a freighter, get myself some decent chips. I think I'm going to sneeze. Yeah, my thoughts was correct. I did sneeze. Okay, well, it's going rather smooth on the fly into the planet, isn't it? I mean, I think it's starting to pick up. I think the graphics are starting to bed in right now because, look, I'm not getting any sort of weirdness going on, am I? You know what? This could be good. So this is just my test episode. This is Test Flight 00, Captain's Log. <laughs> and all that sort of shenanigans. Right, well, it's taken a while to get to the planet. 30 odd seconds, which is going to take a little while to get there. This down. Coolio. Doing a few other things on my other laptop. Go. I wonder what this airless world is going to be like. It's just an abandoned planet. I mean, that last planet, the starting planet, was pretty freaking mental, wasn't it? To be honest, people in the view of us. Oh. It, it's kind of made exploration interesting again. Because every planet, of course, is going to have modded algorithms on. And weirdness. But I'm going to fly down slowly because... You know, like the weekend mission planet this 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 time around. It had all those giant plants all over it. Well, you could get stuck in those giant plants. And this is looking very weird. Okay. Holy fudge. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? So trying to land on some of these planets might be a little bit dangerous at times. Oh, my days. Hold on. This is an airless world and it's got bloody trees and bushes and shite on it, mate. Completely unexpected. But look at the colour scheme. It's red, white and black. It matches my logo colours. Have I found a new home? <laughs> I wouldn't, it's, a, it's an airless world. What the actual flying fudge, mate? No way. Oh my, let's get to the top of this hill. Oh, man. And it's got the gravity as well. Of course it has. Ah. Oh. Look at this. This is insane. This is an airless world. Well, the textures are having a hard time popping in on those trees, but I think you get the general gist. It looks like that I'm in some sort of Salvi Dali type painting. They look like they're freaking melted, don't they? I think I'm melting my PC, people. That's what I'm blinking doing. You know, I bought this game in PC for a bloody reason. I bought it mainly for Starfield, but you know what? Till we get either an update to No Man's Sky or we get Starfield, I might as well put the freaking graphics to use. And we're not losing many frames now. Yeah, there we go. Everything's looking good. I think we're pretty much good to go on this, actually, people. I'm really happy with the way this is playing. You know what? I'm just going to fly up to the station, wherever on my blinking ship is. Where is... <laughs> this is going to be a new a new freaking task and a half, just finding your ship on these planets. But, you know, once I land on some planets that actually have fauna and stuff as well, people, we can actually really see this in action then. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be freaking epic. Now, I did do a poll over on my um, YouTube community tab, and I'm going to be doing a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. I'm going to be mincing it over whether I replace Monster Hunter World with No Man's Sky modded play on a Monday. So maybe we could progress this on Mondays rather than doing Monster Hunter. But I see how that poll goes, because at the moment it's kind of 50-50. And it's on the fence. People are enjoying what I do with Monster Hunter. And I am going to be doing a Monster Hunter episode tonight. I mean, tonight's a Monday. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to be putting this footage out there. This might be, like, what, the next day or something. In fact, this might be a cup of tea, a Captain Steve cup of tea episode, but I haven't got a freaking mug of tea with me. But, yeah, it's it, it was sort of impromptu. Actually, I've finished work for the day. I've actually slipped into my PJs. And, uh, yeah, so this was just me seeing whether I could get mods to work after seeing Professor Cynical's video. And looking at Zoo Games as a video on how to get mods installed. And it was just, let's give it a try. I put the poll out there to see what people think. 
I mean, if people say no, keep Monster Hunter, I keep Monster Hunter and I just do these as recorded episodes. A bit like what I've done here. There we go, we've created a save. I'm up here, I can change my appearance in the appearance modifier in the next episode. Then we'll start our adventure. There you go, people! Out there, in the view of us! Hope you've enjoyed this, heck yes. And I'll see you next time. Bye, goodbye, and goodbye again. <laughs> okay, right. Um, how do I exit this? Here we go, let's go over to here. And let's do quit to desktop. Sweet, I love that screen as well. They've done a really good job on this, haven't they? Anyway, there we go. I said goodbye inside of the actual game. But yeah, this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. And that's just, can my Alienware laptop play mods? And it looks like it can, people, in the view of us. So salute to Mondo. And um, yes, I see whether the poll means that I swap out Monster Hunter on Mondays and do this live, or whether it means that I'm going to be doing this as recorded episodes and do them, deliver them just as and when I can. All right, peeps. So yeah, if you want to chime in on that and say whether you want to see this rather than Monster Hunter or whether you want to do recorded episodes, I'm happy either way. All right, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again.